Hello, gentlemen. Hi there. Um, I Hello, say Joe. Congratulations, first of all. It's uh, an excellent film. I really enjoyed it. Oh, Do you think you. it's appropriate to call it a dark comedy, or is it um, a comedy film with dark elements? We 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 came up with psycho comedy uh, psycho. because you know it has <laughs> psychiatric issues with the comedy, yeah. or um, you have to be. Uh, psychic to uh, understand the <laughs> humor i don't know it's it's its own thing i mean it's very much simon Pegg, you know one of his great roles and um that's really the defining kind of you know um element i guess that you that yeah. you can you can expect before you go in nice and um you two were co-directing this how does your relationship work do you have a butt heads or do you take different things do we have butt heads <laughs> <laughs> yes we do we have, uh, we have, uh, what did you say, <laughs> two small brains and one large mouth, basically, yeah. and that's... Um, uh, I think, I mean, the, given the time constrictions that we had, it was, it was, it was great for that there was two of us, really, because, I mean, I, I, you know, I took care of a lot of the things, yeah, like, like you know, maybe around the camera and behind the camera, and then Crispin would come in with Simon and they'd kind of walk it through and we'd then have a little chat about it and then we'd go in and shoot it. But I was then able to sort of go off and then maybe s start setting up the next scene, you know, because we didn't have a great deal of time very long days, very few days off in the sort of 28 days that we did it in. So it was um, two brains were better than one, really. Nice. Um, and uh, there was lots of um, kind of stop motion animation used in the film. Would you have chosen to go like the CGI route if you had a bigger budget or was it purely artistic? You like the look no. of the stop motion? CGI is too oily, <laughs> I reckon. I mean, the thing is with this, because of the feel, because of the sort of like the, the timeless sort of like mess that we wanted to try and keep within the look of it, the CG thing fitted perfectly in its slot in the story that um, that Jack tells. You kind of wanted to push that nostalgia, really, yeah. and that whole that whole sort of like Oliver Postgate kind of Harry, very Harryhausen thing really fitted with that feel. And it's not just people who grew up in the late seventies, early eighties. You know, it's like a, a, a lot of a lot of kids these days have been shown Bagpuss. DVDs yeah. by their parents who are reliving their childhood through their their own kids, yeah. and um, yeah, it's it's timeless and it's nostalgic, it's charming, it's but imaginative as well. You but know. It was all the, at the same time, it is kind of like that old fashioned stop motion stuff does feel quite dark as well. Yeah. It does have a kind of very sort of atmospheric feel to it, a little bit creepy, which fits with this perfectly, really. And um, in terms of it, it, fe it felt like those bits certainly felt like a kind of kids' film, but turned on its head for adults. Do you think you could, um, you know, would it have been appropriate to show to children, or would it, is it kind of nourishing for the inner child of an adult rather? Uh, I could you could test it on some kids and <laughs> see. Because obviously there's the language. Yeah. Yes, the language is not. The language is not. Use that word at home. I think if you got rid of the language, I mean, yeah, I mean there's nothing in there that you, that you would be that offended by. If no. you, like I tested the the hedgehog story on my kids before we Uneducated. signed off. Signed yeah. off. No, I didn't use the the naughty words yeah. or anything. But uh, no, I tested before we signed off on the script. Tested it on my three year old kid and. And uh, yeah, he spoke to him definitely. He was very he he, he understood these characters and it. Um, but you couldn't show the whole film to a kid. They really <laughs> would just be a little bit a little bit dark and a little bit confusing. Social I mean, I showed it to my um, uh, my fourteen year old, who, and uh, it was well received. Good. Um, how do you feel about letting this? Which is your first kind of feature together, isn't it? How do you feel about letting it out into the wild world to be judged? By everyone, is that intimidating, or are you you happy to let it go? Yeah, do your worst. Happy to let it go. <laughs> yeah. But that's why we made it. I mean, that's the whole thing. Yeah, like it, it's it's great to have it out there, isn't it? I mean, I think uh, coming from the the background that I did, and and I know f speak for Crispian as well that you know you, you spend a lot of time making. I mean, I made music videos. Crispian made music and music videos. And the reason why you're doing it is to get it out there and see what people think about it. It's exciting. That's the most exciting point. Is like, wow, put it out there. Stick it on the screen and see what's see what's happening. I mean, I, I I can't wait to see what people think of it. Good. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure. Thank All right, you. man. Nice one. Excellent. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers, man. Thank Thanks. you. Cat with the fat Joe.